Welcome to Let's Talk About Movies. My name is Alejandro Vergara and today we're going to be talking about The Wolf of Wall Street. There are two words that summarize the essence of this movie. I'm going to give you these two hints and I'm going to reveal them throughout my review. As you can imagine, this is a great movie to get all your family together and go to the movie theater to watch it on Christmas. Yeah, right. This movie was directed by Martin Scorsese and was produced by Leonardo DiCaprio. This movie tells the real story of Jordan Belfort, a fraudulent broker that in the 90s defrauded investors with fraudulent stock sales. This brings us to our first word, excess. This movie is excessive in many ways. To start, it lasts three hours and two of these hours are filled with parties, drugs, Absolute. excessive amount of nudity and sex and a lot of trashy behavior from most of the characters all this makes it really interesting and you can stop watching especially because of the smart and sarcastic sense of humor throughout the whole thing we don't work for you man yeah my money tape to your boobs technically you do work for me you know what Fugazi is? no oh, Fugazi it's a uh, fake hey Fugazi Fugazi it's a wazzy it's a woozy it's a so in the last hour you have the resolution of the story that you already kind of know how it's going to be. There's not a real connection that you can establish with the characters. They have a lot of humanity into them but they're kind of dislikable. So I actually found myself trying to sympathize with some of them but it's really hard. What I did I kind of laughed at their off the top circus. Leo gives as usual an excellent performance but usual is not always a good thing and this girl she's just so delightful to look at. She gives a stereotypical performance full of authority and hues. Aren't you married? Yeah, but married people can't have friends. We're not gonna be friends. So I give this movie 8 out of 10. And this takes us to our second word. F U C Fuchsia. The movie is like that color, vibrant, fun, exciting, but it's kind of pointless. It's like when you walk into a T-Mobile store. You're like, oh, oh, look at the branding. Oh, how nice. But then you think, the service sucks. Let me go and buy my stuff in another place. So this movie leaves you with little to think about, despite of seeing how a trashy person really makes it in life by screwing other people, and how we keep celebrating the inspiring story of success of this person. Should you watch this on the big screen? If you have three hours to put into seeing someone partying, taking drugs, having sex, and behaving really trashy, go because this movie is very well crafted, it's really funny, it's very well done. Thank you so much for watching. I want to take a moment to wish you a Merry Christmas. Celebrate, love each other, be nice to each other, share the love, share the video, subscribe, you know, all of that. <laughs> so leave a comment below. Are you gonna watch this movie? And what else are you planning to watch before the end of 2013? Subscribe, share the video, and remember, not always the story, it's the way you tell it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Welcome to let's blah 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 Martin Scorsese 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 Martin Scorsese 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 This <laughs> This movie <laughs>